Hey guys, welcome to day 61 of 100 ways to motivate yourself. And this is a good one. Um, this is not my favorite, <laughs> um, but it's also not one that pertains to me. So it might not be my message, but it might be your message. So without further ado, I'm just diving in and I am going to share with you. So I don't know how many of you, um, hold on just a minute. What is it? Well, you're going to have to wait a minute, honey. I'm doing a Facebook Live. I'll be right out in a minute. It's scary out here. All right, hold on a second, guys. Hi, baby boy. Daddy always takes Well, Daddy does a good job of giving you your back, okay? you to take her back. All right, come on. Out you go. But will you? But I first no. need to get the toys we're going to be okay. using in the bathtub. See, this is mom life. Okay, so I don't know how many of you are chess fans. So if you're a chess fan, you might know of somebody named Bobby Fischer. Now, Bobby Fischer won the World Championship of Chess. And in this particular chapter, Swim Laps, swim laps Underwater, sorry, whoa, be careful, sorry. Okay. You're okay? We're, we're getting, we're swapping bathtub toys from one bathtub to the other. All right, off you go. Go have a good bath. No, I'm not going to. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> so um, Bobby Fischer knew that he had a major tournament coming up and he had he was going to be playing chess in a major competition against a man named Boris Spassky. I think that's his name. And he knew that in this chess match they would be playing into all hours of the night. And Bobby had done a lot of research on what it takes to have your wits about you and have all your mental faculties be incredibly sharp well into the late hours of the day as you have bright and early in the morning. You know, some of us are bright and early, you know, we're early birds and some of us are night owls. And so he knew that his strength was in the morning. And so in order to emulate what he has when he wakes up, he had to be able to get to the heart of what it would take in order for him to have that kind of mental um, faculty in the evening. So he did some research and he found out that the way to do it to have um, the most oxygen possible to his brain. So again, this is learning for me because this isn't something I've experienced or whatever. So he started realizing that the best way to get mental sharpness was to do what he could to improve his breathing in the form of deep breathing and in order to build up his lung capacity he built up his deep breathing skills by way of swimming laps underwater and through doing this over a course of you know many months in preparation he defeated um what was that other guy's name boris he defeated boris and he became the world champion chess player by creating this staying power and and being able to just have this stick to itness and this mental clarity that was unparalleled. People couldn't believe that he was so sharp that late into the evening. And do you know his competitor, I guess was a heavier guy, wasn't in the best shape. And the difference between the two of them was the fact that um, Bobby had really honed his ability to get more oxygen to his brain. And in that lies the secret of today's message. So I want to share a couple of things that I learned um, in this particular uh, chapter. So it starts by saying that he's quoting General Patton. Evidently, General um, George Patton was huge on this deep breathing. He knew that before he could send his troops into combat, he had to help them to center themselves and to really focus on their breathing because it would give them, give them the clarity that they would need at their weakest hour. So this might resonate with somebody who's really, you know, struggling somewhere where they're just not bringing their A game toward the end of the day or, or anything like that. So I'm just going to dive in and tell you what General Patton said. He said, in war as in peace, a man needs all of the brain power that he can get. Nobody, nobody ever had too much brain power. Brain power comes from oxygen. Oxygen comes from the lungs where the air goes when we breathe. The oxygen in the air gets into the blood and it travels to our brain. Any fool can double the size of his lungs and it just takes effort. He goes on in the book to talk about how um, General Patton had asked one of his assistants who was sitting there working one day. He said, 
How long have you been sitting at this desk? Get up and get out of here. Your brain stops working after you sit in a chair for more than 20 minutes. Keep the body moving around so that the juices all flow to the right places. It'll be good for the brain. If you sit in that chair too long, all of your brain power will end up in your shoes. I mean, obviously, you know. You cannot keep your mind active when your body is inactive. So if you have a corporate America job or you are, you know, the admin at a dental office, whatever it is, if you're sitting for long and you don't have the ability to be active, this might be an amazing way for you to just become the best possible version of yourself is to work on your breathing. You know, it, it might not, this might not speak to me, but it might not be my lesson. This might be the lesson that's going to help you to be motivated to become your best possible self. Um, the last part of this is sometimes all you need is the air that you breathe to motivate yourself. Going for a run or a walk or simply deep breathing gives the brain the fuel it needs um, on a newly refreshed and creative sense. So my closing thought for you is this. Deep breathing brings deep thinking where shallow breathing brings shallow thinking. So just be aware of your breath. You know, I mean, obviously we know that that's life. That's our life force. Get into a yoga class, get into a study of breathing, especially if you're dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety. I know that in cases where I've had to deal with stress and anxiety, a lot of times in those situations, I couldn't think clearly. So if you're dealing with high stress, high anxiety with a high degree of frequency, this might be a, just a, a tool in your toolbox. Maybe not, you know, the absolute answer to all your problems, but a tool in your toolbox. So there you go. I'll see you guys on day 62. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.